expressing numbers in a generalized form. Let us say you have any two digit number. Okay, any number that you want, let's say 45. Now we know that in 45, 5 is at one's place, right? And 4 is at tens place, right? Now any two digit number can also be written as whatever you have, let's say the number at the tens digit is T, okay? And the number at units digit is U. Okay, let's say the value of the units place is U and that of T is T. So the 10 digits number can always be written as 10 into T. So in this example, we have T is equal to 4. Okay, plus 1 into U. In this case, U is equal to 5. Right? So let's say instead of this, you would have had 63. 63 can always be written as 10. Okay, in 63, what is the value of tens? It's 6. At units, you have 3. So 63 can be written as 10 into t. What's the value of t which we have? t is equal to 6 in this case. Okay. Plus 1 into 3 or 1 into u. Right? If you actually take the value of this, 10 into 6 is going to be 60, plus 1 into 3 is 3, 63. So basically, we can express a two digits number in a generalized form as 10 into t plus 1 upon, sorry, 1 into u. Now you must be wondering, what's the relevance of this? The relevance of this comes in the fact that many a times you might have certain questions wherein you might be given certain correlation between these two numbers. Now you must be wondering how that happens. Let me tell you with the help of an example. So let's say, for example, you were told that in a two-digit number, the units digit is one third of the digit at tens place. If the sum of the two digits is twelve, find the number. Okay? Now this is where basically this law or this generalization helps. So let us look at the solution. So there's a two digit number. So let's say this two digits number is x and y. Okay? Where y is representing the units digit and x is representing the tens digit. So t is equal to x and u is equal to y. People use different terminologies everywhere. I'm using tens and u, no, t and u because this represents tens and this represents units. Okay. The units digit is one third of the digit at 10 place. So we are given that y, which is the units digit, is one third of the digit at tens place. Tens place we have x or x is equal to 3y, right? If the sum of the two digits is 12, so we are given that x plus y, the sum of these digits is 12, right? But we know that x is equal to 3y, so we can just substitute the value of x here. 3y plus y is equal to 12. 3 plus 1, 4y is equal to 12, or y is equal to 12 divided by 4, right? Which is 
3 right this will go up x is equal to 3 y is equal to 3 into 3 is equal to 9 the number the value of the number we took as x y so x is equal to 9 y is equal to 3 now let us see whether this holds true for the question given to us if the in a two digit number the units digit is one third of the digits at tens place so units digit is equal to three tens digit is equal to nine obviously three is one third of nine if the sum of the two digits is 12 9 plus 3 is what 12 so that also holds true hence we conclude that our answer is correct right